Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona's channel in English. Well, today we have some news to talk about. We're also going to make a brief as the season is over. Barcelona will come back. The players will come back from Australia tomorrow. Uh, we'll go back to Barcelona, not come back. We're going to analyze very briefly the season. Uh, we will do this more often for, for uh, the following days. But before starting, let me remind you, if you like Barcelona and you don't want to miss the, any of our videos talking about pre-matches, post-matches, news, etc., this is your channel. Down there, there is a red button that you can hit to subscribe and like this. You will not miss the latest news of the team of your dreams. And also like this, you will be helping us to keep growing. So... Without more delay, let's start. Well, yesterday we had this match that, if you remember, we did a previous video already. The uh, All Leagues All Star or the EA, the A Leagues Australian League All Star All Stars against Barcelona, a match that we won suffering, to be honest. They have some chances and it seems that our team was not that... Some of the players, I remember Alba, he, he played without intensity at all. Uh, Umtiti was an, a hole in the defense, etc. Depay even didn't play, so pff, very weird match, to be honest. But I talked about one 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 play exactly. A moment that one of the players from second team, um, not Orellana, Aranda. Aranda did this. He got the ball, if I'm not wrong, from Frankie de Jong or not. I'm not sure. Well, then he dribbled three players. You can see he got the ball at the left uh, well, the middle of the, the, the one of the sides, he ran on diagonal to the other side, and then he dribbled the defender. And when he was about to shot, then you have the number four, uh, uh, Ansu Fati shot, and then he scored. Well, uh, it will be amazing because this player was the first time he played for the first team, Aranda. But also the last control, the last dribble, the ball went a bit wide. So I, I don't have any doubt that he'll get it because he was alone. But it was the, the ball reached to Ansu Fati and it was easier for Ansu Fati to shot that for Aranda. Anyway, wonderful Aranda. He did <laughs> many good things yesterday. <clears throat> but the more or less, uh, the one I didn't like is Alvaro Sanz. Personally, I didn't like how he played yesterday, and, he, and the 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 information we received from the Barcelona beat was that he's a very good player and he has potential. Yesterday, he showed nothing, and the worst is that it's not the first match he plays. Anyway, let's keep talking because, as I'm saying, yesterday we didn't see the pie at all. He was on the team on the bench. He warmed up, if I'm not wrong, actually, because I remember seeing someone about to go to play and suddenly there was no change anymore, no substitution. No reason. Uh, maybe Xavi decided at the end, like, well, leave it, let, let it stay because the pie played the, the, on, on Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember wrong. Sunday, yeah. And, well... Both of them, yesterday, as we said yesterday, both of them, they are talking that they want to stay in the club. They were convinced next season they are going to stay. So, so that, that um, they posted in Instagram a picture of themselves talking about next season. Like, this season was not good, obvious thing, and next season is going to be better. No? The point here is that Barcelona is not convinced to have any of them. Depay, because he's even though he's a, the, the top scorer of our club, thing that we have to to, to pay attention to, the, the team considers that he's not 
the player we need. And also, they believe that in the moments we needed him, he disappeared. And we've talked about that here. No? The other player who the team is doubting if he's going to stay or not is uh, Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong, the team is considering that maybe he, if we have the options of getting Silva from Manchester City or Lewandowski and we don't have enough money, we will sell Frankie De Jong. The point here is why we sell Frankie De Jong when we could sell perfectly uh, Des. Des is not counting for Xavi, clearly. Every match that always was available, Des was on the bench. Many matches, not every match, but many matches. While uh, Frankie de Jong has been a constant player on the pitch, it's it's obvious that it's not just because uh, Frankie de Jong, the quality, Frankie de Jong's quality is also because uh, we we don't have those many. Well, no, no, not that true. Too, it's more like the injuries. No, it, at the end it was a bit like we needed him. But why don't we think that in the next season? Because I'm Kessier will come. That's a, that's a fact. Um, but it's going to come to Aspiliqueta, and that position with Aspiliqueta always is a bit covered, or not. Well, I don't know. It seems that the team, maybe they get this because they think they, he has potential. When he played some matches, I, I consider he played pr pretty well. But Frankie De Jong, in his best version, I think is a wonderful player too. But well, as I'm saying, Barcelona is considering that. Or even though it could be an exchange. Bayern wants Araujo, uh, Frankie De Jong, sorry. And Frank and Barcelona wants Lewandowski. Why not consider uh, thinking of that exchange? Of course, if we get Lewandowski, we should get money because Frankie De Jong, Frankie De Jong's transfer market is around 70 or 80 million, if I'm not wrong. While Lewandowski, Bayern is asking for 50 million. So we should get Lewandowski and 30 million. That's my opinion. What do you think should get? What what's your opinion about all of this? Leave it there on the comment section. Uh, also, problems for Barcelona. Well, why not? Uh, it seems that many players, well, some players, they don't want to leave. No, we are going to talk about these kind of player, th these players. Uh, one of them is Brathwaite. Brathwaite and his best friend in this case. Uh, no, I'm, I'm making a joke. No, but Brathwaite today he said that he wants to to he, he has contract with Barcelona. He has uh, two years more with Barcelona, so clearly he's not even considering to leave. And I don't think Xavi. Ha I mean, the the message from Xavi: you don't need to go to Brathwaite and say, "Hey, you you're going to leave." It's clear he didn't count on him at all. At all. I mean, he, he he got recovered, and even though he didn't play a single minute, I think he played 12 minutes in a match, I don't remember which, that's all. But there were, and actually Xavi said in the in a press conference the other day before playing against Villarreal, that Brathwaite, well, he didn't say it, but he confirmed, they asked him, have you talked with Mingueza, Ricky Puch, Brathwaite, and one more, Umtiti, I think, about leaving. And then he said, yeah, but not just those ones. So the the coach is clear with you. He doesn't want you. It makes you think you have a chance to be in Barcelona. And the other one is the Bosnian player, no? uh, Pjanic. I don't think Xavi needs to, to talk to him or to call him or whatever. I think the club has been clear to him. He has no space no, no position here Xavi, i think the same uh, his season in besiktas has not been that wonderful to make us reconsidering to be playing in barcelona again so but he's saying the same he still has two years contract with us we will see because their salary is too too high to put them away now other player who should be out of the team is um, Dani Alves. Sadly, no. Dani Alves wants to keep to, to to stay in the club, 
I, I personally want him to stay one year more. I think he, his season has been not that bad, not that good too, to be honest, but not that bad considering how we've been playing. But it seems that the the Barca is not really sure about his continuity because one of his uh, because of his age. That's one of the reasons. Because uh, with the arrival of Azpilicueta and having Dest, that right position is covered. So yeah, even though we are paying the, the minimum for a player anyway. Uh, we will see. It's sad because I, I really like Alves. Well, well, we will see. We will inform you. Now, and the last thing we could talk today, I think we're not going to talk about what I said. It's about the value of the team. The value of the team is what, how much money we'll get, we'll get if we sell everything. Okay, players, the Camp Nou, these, the 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 buildings around the Camp Nou, etc. Palau, uh, the other stadiums, etc. Well, uh, in numbers, Real Madrid is the number one. Real Madrid is the most valuable team in the in Europe. We are talking about Europe. In Europe, uh, with a value over 3,000 million or 3 billion euros. 3.184 billion euros for Real Madrid. While Barcelona even worse lost a position. Manchester United is the second with 2,000, or sorry, 2.883 billion euros and Barcelona is the third with 2.840 and 14 billion euros. Now we've lost a position uh, comparing with the previous year. No, uh, I, I don't remember how was the last year but to be honest really sad. Really sad because that means that our capacity all of this means capacity money etc and investors uh, debt that we can get, etc. And it's really bad if we lose if we lose positions. Let's see if Laporta and his team can recover this situation because it's really, really dramatic. Anyway, I'm going to make this brief moment. The team, bad defense, bad mid midfield, except Busquets, Piquet, oh, sorry, Piquet, no. Busquets and Pedri, eh, and the forward, except no, no, no one. Memphis and Dimes, Obama, yeah. Dembele, but Dembele is just generating. Uh, uh, yeah, it's very difficult. Now, we will analyze this season tomorrow, probably. Uh, if I don't see any something that calls my attention to talk about. Anyway, guys, that was all for today. I want to know what your opinion, too, about that of Frankie de Jong. We should do that exchange. And what do you think? And also about the season. What do you think about this season? If it was bad, worse than expected, bad than better than expected, or what? Anyway, whatever is your opinion, leave it down there on the comment section. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Have a nice day.